Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, in this video, we are continuing our PHP admin panel for our blog. Now guys, in previous video part 7, we have seen that how to fetch the registered user data. And now guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to edit this user data. Okay. So, yep guys, let's move to our VS code and let's move to admin and inside admin, let's create a file with the name register edit. So register hyphen edit dot php file hit enter all set now guys we have to include our header footer so we can just start with here let's copy this paste and yep let's paste here and now guys as you know we are having the registered user detail as first name last name email password okay and one is role as with the status so guys we will be using these fields to create in our edit page so let's go so register you can mention add edit user and go back to your view register on the table where we have created the edit button so on this button name you are going to create register edit or else you can create the user user edit file name also so i am proceeding with register edit.php yep let's go refresh and now let's click on this edit button perfect so we are reached on this but we need with the id something like question mark is equal to your custom id should be over here okay so let's copy this process and just paste here the id we are going to send is nothing but the fetched id so let's copy this and send it done let me don't give the space over here save and go back refresh now let's click perfect id1 if you click on 2 it's coming id2 cool guys so now with this help of id2 we are going to fetch the detail inside the input box so let's design the box guys first let's start with the form so row then column md12 with margin bottom 3 where label and inside this label I'll give first name input dot form control for the input box name is equal to F name all set so same way we are going to copy and create for the four fields I mean we have five fields so one is your F name, L name, email, password, and role as and status. Okay, so these are the six fields, guys. We have to create that. So, guys, let me just rename this thing and get back. So, guys, I have just now completed with the input field name. That is the first name will be F name, L name, email, password, and for role as I have selected with the select box with the class. And then guys one status with the checkbox okay with status and one more thing we are missing that is our button so let's complete with that also one simple button guys where we will tell submit or update user and let's design this button so this button will be type as submit class button hyphen primary let's save and now guys let's see the output for this first so yep refresh cool so you are getting the data if you want to keep in two two sectors you can columns just use six all set save and done so now guys let's fetch the data as per the id so let's go to back and 
let's type the code over here guys so php open php close first import your database guys so you, you have already included your database that is your authentication.php so inside this authentication we already have included our dbcon.file guys so you do not need to again and again import the database connection so let's directly start with the query so dollar users is equal to where we are going to select all the fields from users table so we have the table named users okay so we are going to select the data from this table where id is equal to inside single quotes you will get dollar user id so from where are you getting this you have to get from your uh, parameter that is your id over here okay so let's get this id using get method so you can just type in if condition if dollar is set function of dollar get method you have id if something is available something like this then you are going to get the data inside your variable named user id is equal to get method of id now the data will be inside the variable of user id perfect so let's take this and paste inside so now guys let's execute this query so user query i mean user run is equal to with the help of mysqli user query function so first will be your your database connection and then your query guys so that is a users users so this users data i'm getting and now guys let's check if a record exists or not so you can just check out with the if condition using mysqli number of rows function is greater than zero so in which your executed query if record is there it will show else it will tell mm, let's close php open php and tell in h4 tag no record found all set if the record found then you are going to show the data over here by using for loop i mean for each loop so guys let's use for each open and close bracket where you will get the data from here as dollar user all set so let's control x and paste here so there will be no confusion and now guys let's divide this php code so you can cut this and paste after the form let me close this form tag all set perfect and now guys let's get the data inside the input fields let me just minimize this sidebar inside your dollar user variable you have the data in array format so you need to get that open close dollar user array of your f name let's give semicolon let's copy this paste so this will be the l name now let's check the output guys once for these two fields let's refresh cool so you can see that id number two is om prakash you are getting the data om prakash let's change to id number one you are getting ved prakash perfect let's enter some wrong id you can see that no record found so we are on the correct process guys and now let's fetch all the fields let's copy this and paste and we don't fetch the password so you just ignore that part you have to always re-enter a new password whenever you are updating it and for the role as if you want to keep selected which is the admin or which is the user you can just php is equal to where dollar user of role underscore as is double equal to one 
if it is one then you are going to tell as it is selected else you are going to leave it null guys so that's the condition over here so same way you can just copy this for user also and paste paste and this will be zero as we have seen that we have created if one means admin zero means user so right now id number two is zero it should be selected on user role guys perfect so you when you refresh you can see that it's selected to user and when i click on one perfect it's going to admin done guys so now you need to fetch the student status over here let's check that also so you can just select copy and paste and just select status if it is one then you are going to tell us it is checked if it is zero means it will keep as null guys let's save and see the output refresh you can see it is null because the both the status are zero let me make it the id number two as one and you can refresh and you can see that it is automatically checked perfect so let's make it as zero as it was and now guys let's update this data into our db so let's get back to our code and yep guys so this is the update button let's name the button over here name that will be update user so when i click this update button it goes to form with the method post where i should go to code.php and with what data you have to get the user id so let's create one input field that will be hidden so for let's see for testing first and value is equal to open php and close where we'll tell dollar user of user id all set and you can give the name is equal to user id now guys let us see this user id is present or not refresh perfect so we are getting the two id and user id is also two let's make this as hidden and yep let's go and create a code.php file so let's create a new file inside admin folder code.php now guys you need to include the file of your authentication your authentication file so let's copy from our register edit paste and you can check with the if condition is the button clicked or not so we'll use a set function and the button is coming with the post method so post method of what button name is let's move below copy the button name and paste it so now guys when we click the button we are getting when we click the button we are getting all the input fields with the post method so let's get all the input data so first we will get the user id is equal to dollar underscore method post of user underscore id all set so same we are going to copy the f name and then l name next was email and then your password and then your role underscore as so role as will be zero and one guys as i have changed over here so the value is one and zero so one means admin zero means user okay so yep and final one was the status status when status is checked that means it is true you are going to set it to one else it should insert as zero guys all set now guys let's run the code to update so dollar dollar query is equal to 
let's type the query update your table name that is users set the column fields so my column fields is f name is equal to single quotes where dollar f name then your next column field as i can see that l name email password role as and status guys so let's call that fields next was l name single quotes your variable dollar l name all set next was your email next was password let me minimize this and next was role as and then finally status is equal to dollar status and now guys the main condition that comes over here to update the record is where condition where id is equal to inside single quotes you are going to use dollar user id okay so on this id you will be updating the record so after the status no comma guys you should not enter the comma or else you will get an error that it's not updating so now guys let's run the above query so dollar query underscore run with the help of my sql i query function okay so first will be the data connection guys and then your query so query all set and now guys let's check with the if condition your dollar query run it is true means you are going to show the message as header function where location colon you will go back to your which page to your registered user page okay so we'll get back to this page once updated where you'll tell exit of zero and i want to show the message guys so let's use session over here where status not status we'll tell it as message okay so this message and let's give updated successfully okay now to view this you need some code i mean you have to start your session if you are using session make sure you are starting the session but let's see in authentication.php are we have started the session or not perfect we have already started so not required to start over here all set and now guys let's display this message on your view register.php page okay so i have already created in the front end let's copy this file and paste inside your admin folder and now let's include this okay let's go to our view register and display before the card open and close where include function i will type message dot php save that's it guys so let's get back let's edit the username of two where from om prakash let me make it to om, om n and let he is a user so let's give him as user update updated successfully and you can see guys that om n has come add it once again let's add om prakash n and update the user perfect so updated successfully and record is also updated if you want to change the email let's change the email also so om prakash at gmail.com update you can see it's updated let's change the rule also update as admin perfect so he's admin guys and now let's make him back to user updated so guys we have seen that how to edit the record in php mysql and now guys let's continue next video how to delete the record of this user so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share